Howdy folks and welcome back to Stone Block 2. We are still killing withers. I love this thing. This is awesome. Uh, wait a minute. I thought we were. Why is that one still alive? Okay, he was just, I guess he managed to get in just the right spot that it wasn't getting him. It's fine because he's dead now. <laughs> Who cares? Um, so this glowing chorus fruit is really awesome. I like it, but it's a temporary fix. It's not going to solve everything. We need to craft the red armor uh, so we can get creative flight. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to need some stuff. Uh, we need some crafting units. So, uh, let's see here. I don't even know how many of these I'm going to need. So, we'll just grab a stack. Uh, <laughs> that'll be good. Um, and then we're going to need some 64K crafting storage, which means we're going to need some of these, some of those. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. We're going to make uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of those, I think. I think that'll be fine. Uh, then we're going to step up to the next one, and we're just going to make everything we can. Okay, two stacks, that's fine. Uh, we're going to make all of these that we can. Not quite a stack. And we're going to make the rest of these. Okay, 14. 14 should be sufficient. Um, so, the 64K crafting storage. I think, I'm trying to remember how to do the ME crafting. Um, yeah. Screw it. Make them. <laughs> Who cares? Make them. Uh, crafting monitors, I don't really need. I don't believe. Molecular assemblers, however, those I do need. So let's make some of those. Um, seven. Seven should be enough. Uh, okay, so. Let's come probably over here and right in this corner. Uh, okay, so what I need, uh, yeah, I think that'll be okay. Three and four and one, two, three and four. Is that, that should be, yeah, that should be fine. I, I'm, I'm having trouble with this. Um, okay, so let me grab some cable to connect those in. Uh, we'll grab a stack of that and a stack of that. Uh, because you need these in order to do uh, your crafting. So let's see here. If I come off of this guy right here, like so... Is that far enough? Yeah, okay, that's good. And we'll come right in here. And then we'll branch off of that to this guy right here. And that should give me a channel. Should. There it goes. Took it a minute. Device online now. And we'll bring this one on over. Oh, we could just do that. Aha. We'll just do that right there, and then we don't need this. That makes it easier. And then we'll uh, stretch this guy back this way. And then come off of it to this one down here. Okay, so this one is still device online, device online. There it goes. Okay, two channels and one channel. Okay, so... That's all connected. So now I need uh, the interfaces. ME interface. To make that, I need that. So, oh, okay, so I need annihilation cores. Let's make some of those. <laughs> A few. Um, I didn't mean to make that many. That's okay. That's okay. We'll use them. All right, so. We'll just make... Okay. 
That works. Um, do I have enough to make more of these? No. Okay, so... What was this? This was... Fluix. Fluix crystals. Alright, so let's grab some of those real fast. Ooh, I'm running out. Oh! Fluix blocks. That'll work. Um, let's clear that. Oh. Okay, there we go. We'll grab a stack of that. And we need some kind of crusher or grinder. I know I've got something. Um, pulverizer. That's what I have. I have a pulverizer. That will work perfectly. Um, and we'll just slap it onto this guy right here. Because it's only temporary. We're going to yank it out as soon as we're done anyway. Um, and it's going through it pretty quick. Because I've got... What, what upgrade do I have on this? I don't even know which upgrade it is. <laughs> But, uh, okay, so we got we got plenty of that now. I don't think I need any of it, but it's there. We have it, so it's good. Um, so this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Um, I need to make something up here. So I guess what we'll do is we will um, come off of that guy, and we're going to pop that out of there. And then we're going to start slapping these on here. Like this. I think I can do this. Uh, five. And then we will throw these in. So I need what? One more of those. Yeah, one more of those. And then we'll take this guy right here. And uh, run him up to that. And we'll see how many channels that's using in a second. First, I need to make one more molecular assembler. Oh, wait a minute. I don't... I forgot to make these. Okay, now I can make another molecular assembler. Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Molecular assembler. Okay, let's come up here. And we're just going to slip this guy right in here like that. It's lit up. That means it's working. And we're using 8 of 32 channels. Okay, cool. Um, so now, we're going to come over to this one. Because we haven't used this terminal yet. Uh, we need to make blank patterns. I think that's right. It is blank patterns, right? Don't tell me I'm wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that looks like it. That that looks that's the only thing that stands out. So let's make some. Oh, I I have to actually make one first. <laughs> um, where is it? There it is. Blank pattern. Make that. Okay. Now, I come over here. Stick it in here. And this is a crafting pattern. So I do that. And now I come up here. And we'll just stick it in this first one right here. And now I should be able to come down here. And uh, we'll just do pattern. Look at that. Craft. And we're going to make 30 of them. I think. Uh, and start. Now, let's see. I should have them now. Oh, it's, it's still making them. It makes them pretty quick. I mean, it's not bad. Uh, so we're going to stick these guys over here now. And we can clear this out. Now, we're going to do the fun stuff. Uh, this is the whole reason that I was doing this. Is because I need to make a bunch of stuff and let's see here to make this i'm going to need that guy right there so oh look at that i don't have any of those but it's letting me make the pattern for it that is cool i will accept that uh so then i need the blue one which is that pattern right there then i need the orange one 
which is that pattern right there. Green or dark green. And then light green. Okay, so there's all those. Now, to make each tier, I need to make the Supremium Essence. To make that, uh, let's not use an Infusion Crystal. Um, let me see here. Let's use the Master Infusion Crystal. And you know what? I'm going to hold that right there so that I can swap it out for all of them. Okay, uh, there's that one. And then, you know what? Let me come back this way. And we need to make this one right here. So we'll make that pattern. Actually, let me do this. I'm going to put that there and that there. If I do shift, okay, good. Holding down shift lets me see what they are. So now I need the orange one, which is going to be this guy right here. That's right, yes, okay, dark green, which is going to be this guy right here. All right, cool. So we've got all those. Then we need to make the ingots uh, because the armor uses these ingots. Um, so let's see here. For this one, we're going to need that. And then let's back it up over here so we can do it this way. It's a little bit faster. There's the blue one. The orange one. And the dark. Oh, no, I meant to hit this one. There we go. There's the dark green. And the inferium. And that should be it. I mean, we shouldn't need anything else. Let me make uh, a few more of these Master Infusion Crystals. Where are they? Why do I not see them? Oh, I hate when this happens. I, I don't see it. Uh, that is so irritating. Uh, we'll do... Uh, there it is. Master Infusion Crystal. Oh, can I just come over here and do this? And two, three, four, five. That should be good. Um, I, I don't think I'll need any more than that. So now I just need to put all of these uh, recipes up here. Now, I need to spread them out, okay? So, like, uh, this one will have all of the red parts. This one will have all the blue parts. Uh, this one can have all the orange parts. This one can have the dark green. And this one will have the uh, light green. And that should be all I need to do. I shouldn't need to do anything else. Let's see if this works. Uh, it is... The Supreme... Oh. Oh, I forgot recipes. Guess what recipes I forgot. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so... There it is, right there. I don't know why I didn't see that before. Um, <laughs> anyway. These are the recipes I forgot. So, let's do that. And then... That. <laughs> Uh, this one. And this one. There we go. Okay, so now we have those four. Let's uh, go ahead and... Uh, wrong way. Uh, still wrong way. Need to come over here. There we go. Uh, you don't have anything. You can have all four of these. So, the issue that we have... Uh, let me go ahead and come over here and let me make sure that we can do this. Uh, Supreme, okay, here we go. Uh, craft. Next. Oh, what am I missing? I don't, why? Oh, that is so frustrating. I messed up. I had the infusion crystals 
in my inventory specifically so that that wouldn't happen and I did it anyway. Oh, that is so irritating. All right. Um, let me see which ones I messed up. It's that one. That one. Uh, yep. Yeah, that one. No. And you. Okay. So, hold on. This one says it needs... If you, okay, this one's fine. It's these other three that are messed up. Uh, can I fix them? If I take that out and put that in. Oh, I can't. Oh, that sucks. Okay, you know what? That's fine uh, because we can get around it. So I need the blue one, uh, which is that right there. And we just do that. There we go. New one. Okay, and then we need the orange one. Which is that right there. That's what I meant to do, and I completely forgot. <laughs> and then we need the dark green one. There we go. Okay, so that means that uh, these other three are trash. So let's come over to the trash can, and goodbye. <laughs> Throw this guy back in here, uh, and then we'll come up here, throw these in, see here the red one, and the blue one, uh, there's nothing over here, let's do this, I want to put, well that's still, eh. you know what, it'll be okay I guess, not ideal, but we'll deal with it. Okay, so now let's try this again. Uh, Supremium. Craft. Next. Everything's there. And it doesn't look like it's going to have to do much, so we'll do start. Okay, it shows you what it's doing. And done. Okay, so now we'll go to Supremium again. There's my helmet. So let's make the uh, chest piece. Start. It's not saving. Uh, do the legs. Next. Oh. Oh. It doesn't see that there's more than one in there. Or it's already using them. Oh. Okay. That's fine. That's fine though. I mean it's because it's not taking any time at all. This is going a lot faster than um, if I was trying to do it manually, <laughs> which is an incredible pain in the butt. All right, so there we go. Uh, and now, if we come over here, wait for our boots. There we go. So now I should have creative flight without the foods. Yeah, it just says set bonus flight. The red looks horrible, but it gives me flying. So uh, I've got two and a half minutes left on the fruit. So I'm just going to uh, AFK for two and a half minutes and let the timer run out and see if we fall down. Okay, so waiting for two and a half minutes is really boring. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Um... So, one of the things, the reason that I want creative flight and I want a stable creative flight like this is the fruit uh, has a timer. And when the timer runs out, you fall down, right? Uh, and anything using grid power is buggy. I'm sure you've noticed that before whenever you've played uh, any mod packs that have grid power. If you're using one of the uh, rings that they have uh, for flight, they're buggy. They don't always work. Sometimes you lose power and suddenly fall. Uh, and it really sucks when that happens. How many channels am I using here? 31 of 32. Crap. I'm going to have to move that trash can. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, yes. Uh, 
that was something else that I had done and I forgot to tell you about the uh, loot crate storage and the loot crate opener. Okay, I'll show you that real quick. Uh, if I come over here and we just do uh, loot, the loot crate storage, incredibly cheap. Use oak planks, and I didn't have a shulker box. I how did I make? The, oh, okay, it uses a regular chest too. Uh, and the quest book. Quest book is just a book and stone. Okay. Uh, so book and stone to make the quest book. A chest and seven planks. That makes a loot crate storage. This thing, I don't know what kind of storage. Yeah, I fell down because the fruit wore off. But now I'm flying again. See, there's no timer up there by the mini map. Um... So, I don't know how much this thing can hold, because I didn't even let it get close to full before I made the Loot Crate Opener. Loot Crate Opener, just as easy, a stone pickaxe, seven planks, and another quest book. That's it. Incredibly cheap. So, what I have it doing is it is exporting, uh, let me do that, it's exporting out... The different uh, loot crates, except for Legendary. Legendary is the only one it's not, because I wanted to open those myself. Which, I no longer need to. Uh, because the Legendaries are kind of limited anyway. They don't... They have a very small list of things. Holy crap. I was not expecting that. <laughs> wow, those uh, Withers, they, uh, they have a pretty big output. Um... <laughs> Yeah, so, anyway, um, so now it's exporting all of the loot crates, and then they go in here, and then it automatically sucks them into here, which opens them up, and this thing will store the items, and I've got an importer underneath it. I don't know if you can even see it or not in there. Yeah, there it is. Got an importer with acceleration cards on it, so this thing never fills up. I don't know if it even can fill up, to be honest. Uh, either one of these. And it's all sucking it back in here. Now the problem I had. Is with that mob farm that's over there. It was creating so much garbage. I had so many bows. And leather armor. And it's just. Uh, this. Steel swords. Steel boots. Glowstone boots. Osmium boots. Lapis swords. Uh, what do you have over here? Iron chest, the iron armor sets, steel, glowstone, and osmium. Uh, let's, what's this one? Lapis, chain, and then uh, iron tools. And then this one back here is the gold tools and the le I mean the the gold armor, leather armor, and bows. So I just I have all that exporting straight into a trash can because I don't need it. It's garbage, and it was filling these up. All of these were orange or red. <laughs> and so I quickly made a few more, threw them in here, and then I started exporting into the trash can, and I haven't had a problem since. Everything's been great. Uh, oh, man, I'm loving this flight. The only downside to uh, the creative flight, though, there is one downside to it, and... It's mining. Uh, see, if I'm up in the air like this, look at it. Took a little while to do that. Okay, you see the progress bar on that. Now, if I land, see how fast it took it out. So there is a significant difference. Uh, I don't need any of this anymore. Uh, so we'll just take all of this out. There we go. Nice and cleaned up. These are going to move eventually. I'm just not sure where to. Those are the um, export chests for soul sand and wither skulls. And there's so much in there that I could move them at any time and it not be a problem. But man, this creative flight is going to be so great. Because now I, I can do so much more. It, it's going to be so easy to expand this farm. Uh... <laughs> To do anything, any of my building that I'm doing, all of it is going to be so much easier now. I don't need this anymore. 
that was before I figured out this uh, Ender inhibitor that prevents Endermen from teleporting. But uh, yeah, building these things up. So this one, uh, I guess I've just decided that this is going to be the crafting one for the ME Systems Auto Crafting. Now, you saw how quickly I made these patterns and I just throw them in here and it's good to go. Everything's running great. It's only counting, uh, looking at this, 8 of 32 channels. That means it's only counting the assemblers. It's not counting the interfaces. So, I can get quite a bit more in here than just this. So, I could probably bring it down another layer just so that it's not uh, touching this. Or I could just drop this down lower, bring these up either way. Um, because the bigger these are and the more of these you have, let me see if I can explain this. So, if I have uh, these two by two blocks right here and I've got three of them, that means I can do just, this isn't accurate. I can do a thousand items at once. Okay. But if I double this so that I have six of them, I can do 2000 at once. Okay. Or I can do, uh, like here I can do three different tasks at one time. Or I can double it, have six of these things, and then do six different tasks at one time. So, these are going to get expanded. There's going to be more of them. I'm probably going to just line them up along here and make like a server farm looking thing in here. And then have a whole bunch of these guys on there. And I'm going to start making patterns for everything now that I've shown you how the patterns are done. Uh, there's really not much to it. So... And, oh, 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 that's for regular crafting, okay? So, say I wanted to auto-smelt something, all right? Uh, like I was running out of iron, and I had iron chunks in here. Uh, let me see if I have any, actually. No, I don't. Uh, what about pieces? Okay, so, nickel. We'll, we'll use nickel as an example. So, I've got nickel ore pieces, and I need nickel ingots. So what I can do is I can make one pattern that would auto craft four of these into a chunk. And then I make another pattern with the processing pattern. And I put the chunk here. And then I put a nickel ingot over here. I would have to manually put that over here though. Because it doesn't know what I'm trying to do with the uh, processing patterns. See, um, let me see here if I actually have anything that would, eh, you know what, coal. Because whenever you cook coal, you get graphite. So if I put coal here, it doesn't know what I want. I put 64 coal in though. That means that I need graphite and to make it accurate, I need to put 64 graphite over here, okay? I can right click to adjust, but if it's a one to one, that's what it needs to be for the processing pattern. I hope I'm making sense. <laughs> uh, I'll show you an example whenever I come across making one. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be making some patterns off camera. I'm gonna be expanding this area. Uh, so we're gonna be able to do a lot of auto crafting for anything that we run out of. We'll just go into the ME system. If we need something, click on it, and it'll make it. Uh, but that's going to do it for today, folks. If you enjoyed the episode, please go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye now.